Well, hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my farm, I would appreciate your likes and subscribes. Everybody already has. Thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you could do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I do have a cord cutting service now, as well as a cord cutting service, a half hour FaceTime, and my bath ritual cleansing kit, all in a package. So it is a little bit of everything in a beautiful package. Scorpio, you may wanna check that out. If you would like to enter to win, $200 drawn on the 28th and announced on the 1st. You can do that by liking, subscribing to all YouTube channels linked in the description below, as well as commenting blessing. <clears throat> well, I hope you're all doing well and vibing high. I thought we would get a look-see at March. I'm going to do the March reading here for you all, Scorpio. I am starting the bi-weekly readings this week for all zodiac signs. So I thought we would start with you and we will do a whole um, look-see forecast for the month of March. Now, we do do the dailies. So this is just a overview of what we have to look forward to and a little talk about what is happening astrologically as some of you may know we are jumping off kicking off eclipse season here in the month of march the month of march is very big for us in our fifth house our fifth house is joy pleasure children some of you may be getting pregnant. Some of you may be finding out you're going to be grandparents or something, a blessing coming for our children. Oh, I'm so excited. And if, if anyone, if something really good happens to your children, come back and comment. I would love to know in the month of March. <clears throat> we are, uh, you know, really having a, around the new moon on the 10th, here, Scorpio, a lot of new beginnings, a new romance, a pregnancy, a new job. The new moon is going to be very powerful for us this month. You may want to do a new moon ritual, and it is on the 10th of March. Exactly the next day on the 11th, Venus here um, is very powerful for us, bringing in joy, happiness, love, blessings for our children. On the 17th, the sun conjuncts with Neptune and again in our fifth house of us having unlimited faith. You're going to feel this month that those areas that you have let go in your life that you used to enjoy, that, that made you happy, that brought you happiness and pleasure, creative projects, etc., are going to be in the forefront really enjoying yourself in the month of March and having a unwavering faith um, uh, about it as well. If you meet a new person, for example, you will feel a hundred about it. You're going to feel as if, um, you know, there's no doubt in your mind that you are, you've meant the right person. That's just one example. If there's creative projects that you would like to get off the ground, you're going to have a unwavering faith that you're moving in the right direction. On the 21st, Venus conjuncts Saturn, and this is very karmic. We are going to get what we deserve. A lot of karma coming in good and bad um, you will get back what you put out what you've put out and if you've been putting out good if you've been putting out a lot of love a lot of light or a lot of it and putting in a lot of hard work into a project or a new job or a new love or or something involving your children you will get good karma back for this on the 25th, we have the warm full moon in Libra. It is called the warm moon because, um, you know, our, our ancestors, the, the worms started to come out the ground. Robins could feed out of the ground again. The, the ground was starting to unfreeze, and it is why it is the warm moon. Now, this moon is going to look extra big, and we will have an eclipse. Scorpio, this moon is going to appear to be very big, where this full moon is the smallest 
it appears to be the smallest. Remember, the moon is just an illusion. Um, what we see is really illusion. It's about how the light, you know, is, is appearing on planet Earth, on what position the, the moon is in. This full moon is going to appear to be extra big. You're going to notice how large this full moon is. And it is on the 25th. We are having a lunar eclipse. So let's get moving here and, and see what it is, Scorpio, that the divine wants you to know for the month of March. Now, I do have a snoring puppy in the background. Um, those that do not know, and I apologize, but she is my road dog and she is always beside me. And so if you do not want to hear her snore take care there's nothing I can do I'm not going to make my baby leave and she has a I don't know if I've ever told you guys why she snores so much loud she her soft palate is is hanging down on her vocal cords so it makes everything she does really loud I actually have to take her to get a scan um a tube down our little throat so they can scope it and see if there's something we can do about it because ultimately it will start affecting her breathing and um, I'm gonna get around to doing that but that is why she snores so loud everything she does is loud because there's skin essentially hanging on her vocal cords nostalgia focus on the here and now you could be 33 35 24 42 53 swim away from the situation shark and potion remember to practice self-love in the month month of march the divine is asking you to focus on the here and now to to stop focusing so much energy and attention on the past there could be a situation that you're being guided away from and practicing self-love is going to be more important than ever um you may find in, in March, you start standing up for yourself more, feeling like you need to set healthier boundaries with certain people around you. You may have um, some fun times with friends coming. Some of you are going to have very intense, vivid dreams in the month of March. It is messages from your guides, from your ancestors. You're familiar with the concept of self-love and self-care, but either you've never actively practiced them or they've been something you've falling behind on. Remember, you should get back on track. Keep yourself maintained in all ways, big and small. That can mean calling it quits to take a luxurious bath instead or take or that can mean putting on rose water face mask and getting out your planner so you can sort out your life it gets to, before it gets too out of control. There's something here. There's messages that I'm receiving. I'm sorry. Uh, there's something here that seems to have gotten out of control, Scorpio. Maybe it's your bills. Maybe it's your housework. Maybe it's a situation with a lover, but there's something that, that the divine is asking you to look at and sort out in the month of March. You're being asked to really focus and prioritize getting your life in order. Um, micro goal set. Write everything down, everything you need to do, and then tackle one task a week really get your life under control here because some of you have a lot of really good new things coming in and you're going to be very busy some of you may hear from an old friend from from the past high school college somebody you haven't talked to in a long time they may reach out to you you're spending the majority of your time daydreaming wondering what could have been if only things had gone the way you wanted but by doing this, you aren't giving yourself a fair chance. And the truth is, there's nothing you can do to change what happened, no matter how many scenarios you craft in your mind. Make improvements to your present, not your imaginary, and be sure to nurture what you've been given. Some of you are spending all of your time thinking about what you should have said, what you could have done, what 
should have been, what you wanted it to be, what you thought it was going to be, what you were hoping it was going to be, what, what, who said what, and who did this, and Scorp, for what? There's no need to go back. You're just keeping yourself stuck. You're keeping yourself sick. You're keeping yourself attached to the past. There's nothing back there for you now. All you have is this very moment. The future is not, not promised, sweetheart. I could drop dead right here in the middle of this reading. Why am I going to ruminate on things that I could have done or what should have been? It, no, it, it, no, it wasn't supposed to be anyway it's supposed to be exactly the way it is a lot of you need to know that where you are right now on your journey is exactly where you're meant to be because there's better things coming because the situation wasn't serving you anyway it looks to me like there's sharks around you feeding off your energy and feeding off your light it's time something has gotten out of control and i have a feeling it is with a lover for others it's with a friend or a co-worker somebody has gotten out of control in the way they treat you the way they speak to you some of you you're being called names all the time or you're you're really being disrespected by the people around you and it's gotten out of control it's time for you to move forward now stop living in the past Focus on the beauty to come. Your best years are yet to come if you allow them to. You've been being asked to pay extra close attention to all the big and small miracles that you've already have, that's already occurred in your life and those currently occurring and still to come. Miracles surround you. Be on the lookout for them. Some of you have a very big manifestation coming in. What you have put out, you are getting back. And you've been putting out good vibes, a lot of love. And boy, do you have a big payout of karma coming in for you this month. You're being asked to listen to your inner voice. It's been guiding you to do something or say something. And it's time to act on its wisdom getting messages from your higher self, getting messages from your inner voice that it's time to move, it's time to swim away from a situation, it's time to speak your peace and let it go. A lot of you are getting messages that, that it's time to maybe start applying for a new job or make changes in your life, but you're holding on to the way things used to be. They're not that way anymore. You, you, you got to get to a point in the month of March where you've accepted that is what the divine is saying. Listen to what your inner voice is telling you. You are being asked to protect yourself in your energy. It's okay to want to give to others, which you do effortlessly. It's important, though, that you set healthy boundaries with your energy before doing so. Now is the time to get some protection in place. And again, if I say something to you in a reading, it is not because I'm pulling it out of the, out of the sky. It is because I am receiving messages and I'm telling you there's something that's out of control. And in the month of March, you have got to put up boundaries and protect yourself. Spirit is begging you here, Scorpio. Start practicing self-love by putting up healthy boundaries. Really protect your energy visualize yourself in a bubble of light take cleansing baths stay away from toxic people and toxic things you may want to do a cleanse of all negative social media or maybe even a cleanse from social media altogether for the month of march really pull your energy back from anything that doesn't make you feel good because you could have some chaotic things to come if you don't Some of you, there's some difficult experiences about to happen in the month of March because unfortunately you're not putting up healthy boundaries. It's so difficult once you have allowed a person to do certain things to you so many times to then put up healthy boundaries because this person doesn't want to. They're used to you allowing them to, to act a certain way or be a certain way. So often, even though you have all the intentions of doing so, you don't 
because you're just so used to doing it the same way or allowing mm -hmm. them to mow over the boundaries you've put up. The message here, though, is if you do not put up healthy boundaries and swim away from a certain situation, whether this is a lover, a toxic friend, family, there will be some heavy burdens to come. Tell me about Scorpio in March, please. What can they expect in the month of March? What beautiful energy can they expect? March 2024, please, Spirit, for Scorpio. Happiness. You're protected. Cleanse and protect your energy. Jealous people nearby and careful who you trust. Mm. In the daily, I picked up on this as well. You're being protected. The divine is trying to protect you. There could be some jealous people around you. There could be some people around you that does not have your highest good in mind, Scorpio. People that are jealous or don't want to see you win, don't want to see you heal and grow because the more you heal and grow, the stronger boundaries you put up and they can't feed off your energy and take advantage of you anymore. You may find there's a lot of pushback around you in the month of March if you're trying to put up these boundaries and you're trying to move on from the past. You may get some pushback especially when we have people around us who aren't ready to heal, grow, and change. They don't want to see you heal, grow, and change because that would make them feel inadequate. So some of you, um, you may expect that this month if you are working on loving you more. There's something that's going to come in though that's going to make you really happy. You're going to feel on top of the world, some happy news, a new job offer perhaps. News about a settlement, news about child support or something like this coming in for you as well. A smoother ride through life, feeling on top of the world. If you put up these healthy boundaries and protect your energy, you are going to have a lot of happiness come into your life. But listen to your intuition because somebody is hiding something from you. And we have children now. For a lot of you, there's something really good, a blessing about to happen for you and your kids those that want to get pregnant this astrologically is a great month to attempt to do that it could be someone around you who is immature emotionally what happened baby something scare you i wish you guys could see how cute she looks i couldn't help it intense emotions deception hidden truth proceed with caution learning to let go here trust in the divine and be patient what is this deception please what is this what is this deception that scorpio should be on the lookout for in march please some of you it's with a fire sign <clears throat> there seems to be a smooth talker around you some of you this is the person you work for if you work for a masculine energy, for example, there could be something that they're keeping from you. Others, it could be friends and others, it is a lover. You're being asked to stay emotionally balanced. There's, there's some unrealistic expectations. Um, there's some things happening here that you need to proceed with caution. Somebody seems to be uh, gossiping a bit could be something you find out about gossip but Scorpio you have the ability you are the creator of your own universe do you hear me you can manifest anything you desire you are the magician what do you want who do you want to be stay in a high vibration and start taking action steps towards doing that some of you have been dealing with actual depression and anxiety. And in the month of March, you may find that it starts to get a little better. Going out more, you could be going to a lot of festivities, a lot of gatherings, something about friends here, really important in the month of March. Fifth house energy, joy and pleasure, creative projects. A Virgo could be important to you. There's somebody not telling you the truth, though, or someone that you need to proceed with caution with. This person is a shark. 
a bloodthirsty shark. When your vibration's low and you're not in a great place, they smell it. They could take advantage of you in some way. So be careful. Tell me, what is it the Scorpio should be working on in March? Surrender, rest, and sleep. Some of you need to rest more, sleep more. You Maybe your sleep has been interfered. Luna has been waking up at the witching hour three between 3 and 3.30 for the last six days straight. The full moon, I feel, it has been affecting her. Every, she starts, I wake up to her like sniffing around me and sitting because she sleeps above my head, long story. And every morning for the last six days, she has been up between 3 and 3.30. She's really being affected by this full moon energy. And my baby hears and sees spirits I know she does I think she has a special connection I'm, I'm not I thought that maybe I was making it up at first but now I am convinced there's been too many things that have happened she's so sensitive to energy and honestly if I have a really um, hard reading or a really dark energy surrounding that person in a reading Luna will leave the room. She is just so sensitive. I can't explain it. And you would have to see it. But nevertheless, some of you may be waking up at 3 a.m., waking up at, you know, a certain time and can't go back to sleep. Or some of you can't fall asleep because of anxiety. Your mind's racing. You may want to take some magnesium before bed, Scorpio. Try something herbal. If you massage your if you massage your scalp for five minutes before you go to bed, that can help relax your body as well. Do a breathing exercise, visualize white light while you're laying in bed. The universe is asking you to be open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove all blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Surrender to the belief in scarcity. Um, you may want to get to a place where you are not looking at money as something that is, that's hard to attain. That you look at money as just what it is. It is only energy. Really doing visualizations um, with, to remove money blocks in the month of March will be really helpful. To prevent burnout, slow down and honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind body and spirit in the month of March you may want to sleep an extra hour you know take the time you can to rest and and sleep and and really take care of yourself it's going to be so important in March that you allow yourself to have a little bit of fun you put up healthy boundaries and rest and rejuvenate your spirit because babe what you have coming for you is so good and so big that you're going to have to be rested and get ready. Get excited. Get ready, Scorpio. You have manifestations about to just pour into your life. So what can Scorpio expect in the month of March, please, spirit? In love, please stalking your social media can't move on and obsess some of you have someone that is literally obsessed with you this person has been stalking you watching your social driving by your house wanting to know what you're doing wanting to know what it is you're up to tell me about this spirit this person is 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 living in the past as well they're very nostalgic this person could reach out to you every so often and say, do you remember when? Do you remember when this happened? Do you remember when that happened? You know, do you remember when we used to those kind of things? This person isn't quite ready, but they're jealous and they're lurking. This person is lurking around, could be driving by your home, your work. This is somebody here that you may have not spoke to in a while for some, for others, that you have a friends with benefits with now. At one point, you could have been in a real relationship with them. But since you've broken up, this person, that's all they want. 
some of you have a very bright future to come, but you've got to get out of the past. You've got to get out of a place that you're stuck in the past. Um, as soon as you do that, as soon as you're ready and um, ready to move forward, rested and rejuvenated, you're going to have some kind of dream boy or girl enter your life. Some of you in the month of March, it is really, the energy is really ripe for new romance, joy, pleasure, a beautiful new romance. So if that's what you're looking for, Scorpio, get rested now. See the areas that you may need to, to make some changes or do things differently so you can get yourself prepared to live your best life and have the best romance yet, the best relationship you've ever had. Tell me why this person's angry and lurking, please. Why are they so angry and lurking? Some of you, this person sending you evil eye because you are putting up healthy boundaries. They don't like your boundaries. They don't like your self-love. They're foolish. There's lies. There's trickery. There's underhanded behavior, dishonesty. They could be masquerading as a friend, Scorpio, but really just trying to get information about you. Or some of you, unfortunately, have somebody in your friend circle. I picked up on this yesterday that is masquerading as your friend. It could be this person's sibling, this person's friend, or somebody that is going back and telling them things. Now, only put that if it fits, but this is definitely a message for somebody. They seem to want to reach out. They want to message you. They have some things on their mind. They may want to be intimate for some of you. Yeah, definitely. Page of Cups, this person's going to message you. Some of you, this person owes you money and they're actually going to reach out and give it to you. If you've had some new financial opportunity or a windfall of money come in, be careful that this person is not looking to take from you as well they seemed to they could have had a a financial windfall or may in the month of march there is a lot of healing between the both of you they are mending this is somebody from your past that's becoming um, a better person but they're just not quite ready they're mending and they're healing and they're a little obsessed in stalking your social media. This person um, wants to know what you're doing and who you're doing it with. And they may start reaching out, wanting to take a walk down memory lane. If you haven't heard from them in a while, in the month of March, you could get an email, a text message. I'm seeing written, something about written communication. Some of you, this is a very small few of you, this person could be in jail or they could be somewhere where they're actually going to send a physical letter. They could send you some kind of love letter. They're ma somebody's masquerading. There's a lot of inner turmoil. They run. There's illusions. And they're trying to be hopeful for the future. This person's been masquerading, pretending like they're concealing their true feelings. They feel powerless. They're fighting between their mind and their heart. They're feeling worried. They're unhappy with their life. I'm wearing a mask by appearing happy and serene in front of others. When I am alone, I think about you and realize I was my true, authentic self when I was with you. This person feels like you are the only one they have ever been able to be real with, but they still jacked it all the way up. They, they could have created all sorts of illusions. There's extreme emotions. This person idolizes you. It's actually becoming a little unhealthy. Whoever I'm reading for right now, I feel when you put up healthy boundaries and told this person, I don't want what you're offering me. I don't want friends with benefits. I want a real relationship. They became almost obsessed. You may not even realize this, Scorpio. This person is, is, is really lost in a fantasy world in their mind. 
I'm obsessively thinking got the best. My obsessive thinking has got the best of me. I allowed my emotions and others to control and dictate my actions towards our connection. I finally understand I need to trust my intuition. Somebody here was making them believe things that weren't true. Somebody could have been masquerading as their friend. This person. I am bound physically, mentally, and spiritually. I feel there is no way out from where I am. I feel imprisoned because of my own doing. I am trying to fight my inner demons, but it's just so difficult at times. They've got so much inner turmoil. They're masquerading. They feel powerless in their situation. They could be stuck with a karmic. Why do they feel so powerless? Some of them are going through some ending or could have. Some of them, you put up healthy boundaries and it's made this person damn near obsessed. Some of you, this person went back to an ex who acted as if they were going to change or things would be different this time. You could have meant this person when they were in separation from someone. They went back because of money, because of children. They went back because of illusion. Now they feel trapped and they're masquerading. Others, this person's just a runner. They ran from your relationship. They ran from the intensity. And now they're questioning everything. Did I do the right thing? I think of Scorpio constantly. I'm obsessively thinking. That is most likely why you are here. Thinking, thinking, thinking about the past, daydreaming about the past. You're picking up on this person's energy. You really need to cut the cord here. Do a visualization so you can move forward. This person is imagining a life with you. They're literally really in a fantasy right now. Checking your social, looking at your profile pic, checking to see if you're active or you're not active, your snaps or all the things that they can see because um, some of you have them blocked. You seem to have um, stood up for yourself here to this person. This person could have suffered a loss or some hardship. You could have. Somebody here could have suffered you could have lost a child, had a miscarriage. You all could have lost somebody very important to you together. Um, <clears throat> what are they going to do in the month of March, please? There's big changes coming in. This person is impulsive, though, and they are rash. There, there's a reality check to come for them. Um, they've been moving really slow, but time heals all wounds. This person has been hoping that over time you would learn to forgive them. Over time you would um, let them back into your life. So they've been uh, just sitting in the background watching. There's something about this person's um, religious beliefs that are changing as well. Their social group is changing. They could be graduating from college. You could be. You all could have went back to school. Some, one of you. They've been hoping that if they go slow, if they give you time, that you'll be able to trust them again. And in the month of March, they could certainly come in asking you or giving you some kind of gift or money or something that they've owed you. Some of you, this person's kept something of yours. They won't give it back. You've, you've given up. Now suddenly they're going to call you and say, oh, hey, Scorpio, do you want to come over and get, uh, you know, your earrings? I don't know, something like this. It's already in the works, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign. This, this person, some of you, this person's being punished by the divine. Others are actually being punished and they're in jail, really. Any day now, for some of you, this person's going to come on in. They feel like you're fiercely independent, that you're sexual, that you're wild. They love it. They, they love the vibe. Could be 33, 37, 44. They could be. 
this person loves your vibe the way you are your your aura the energy you put off they seem to want to have a conversation and they they're hoping that time has healed this wound that time has has you've settled down over time and you've forgiven them for some of you maybe for others you're going to tell them thank you for the apology but bye now because you're moving on and letting go tell me what is the final message we can give scorpio about the month of march please virgo energy here aquarius energy leo taurus Where you are right now is where you are supposed to be. What did I tell you? The first thing I said to you. Where you are right now is where you're supposed to be. Don't compare yourself to others. That only adds pressure. Take each day as it comes and for what it is. You are a better person than you were yesterday. Growth isn't easy, but you've got this, Scorpio. By the end of March, most of you are going to be feeling so much better. Maybe not 100, maybe not perfect. But if you allow yourself to live here in the present moment and stop fantasizing and ruminating on the past or panicking about the future, you're going to see a major shift in your energy by the end of March. Get rest, put up healthy boundaries, and have a little fun. I hope you have the best month of your life. March is going to be the best month we've ever had. Today, as a matter of fact, is the best day I've ever had. Love and light.